So you have a OnePlus 8, 8 Pro or the 8T. I'm going to show you how to use the built-in screen recording feature also with and without using the microphone, okay? So first thing is this. Go ahead and slide down your notifications just like this and then you see a little horizontal line right there. Slide down again. Now you want to look for screen recorder, okay? If it's not on this first page here, swipe to the left. Screen recorder is not here, swipe to the left, okay? So mine's the very last one. It says screen recorder there, okay? So let's go ahead and tap on that really fast. Now this little floaty icon here shows up. Now if I want to start it, I simply tap on the red button here, okay? If I want to exit out, I can exit out with the X. Now, but really fast, let's go into settings here, okay? So in the settings here, you can see uh, what video resolution that they're giving you, also bit rate. And then also down here, it says uh, show touch operations, which is on by default. Basically when recording and anywhere you touch on the screen, it'll be like a, like a little white dot. It'll show you like where you're touching or where you're sliding and whatnot, okay? Now another important one here is audio source. Now by default, if you go ahead and record right now, it's only gonna record the internal audio. The internal audio is only the sound that's coming out from the TV. So for instance, if you're recording like a YouTube video, it's only gonna record the sound um, on that YouTube video. It's not going to record you speaking over it, okay? And of course, no audio means that there's no audio, period. Now down here is uh, microphone audio. It's voice and surrounding, so basically, if you check this one down here, right here, microphone audio, this is gonna record your internal audio, every, every sound that's coming out from the phone, and also your microphone. So if you're talking on top, basically doing like a voice voiceover or whatnot. So for this example, I'm gonna leave it here, a microphone audio is gonna record the audio coming out from my phone and me speaking over it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it just like this, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick sample here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on right there, now we're recording here, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, testing. Now I've got a video here, I'm gonna go ahead and play, testing. Oh, leave it just like this in a vertical so position. you can How see this, says video right here, okay. testing, so in a vertical one, position, two, three, testing, like okay. in a bottom, right? testing, one, two, three. And then if you want to go ahead and stop, you can see it down here. It's still kind of floaty. Let's go ahead and tap on that. You can pause it or stop it. Let's go ahead and stop it right there. Now I can just go ahead and X that out. And now let's just go ahead and... Now all of your um, all of your screen recorders get saved into the Photos app here. Same with all your screenshots. Same with all your uh, photos and videos that, that you take as well. So click right here. Now you should have a new folder here called Screen Recorder. And that last one we just made right here. Right and now, recording here. This will be an example testing. here. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, testing. Now I've got a video here I'm gonna go ahead and play. Testing. I'm just gonna leave it just like this in a vertical so position. You can However, see this. the instructions manual says video the right here. use the scan, okay? Testing. So in a vertical one, position, two, three. it would be just testing. like this. Well, there you guys go. I think you got the message there. Pretty simple.